you know, we're in a very fluid situation right now, Eric. The, uh, you know, listen, the vaccines, uh, you know, that we encourage everybody to get guarantee uh, not getting hospitalized and not, you know, uh, getting death coming from COVID, um, which is important, uh, but it doesn't prevent you, you know, from contracting COVID. It just, you know, obviously protects you from the severe worst case scenario effects from COVID. Um, so uh, we're thankful that we're vaccinated um, in most cases, not all cases, but in most cases. Uh, so therefore we're ultimately protected. And that's the biggest uh, thing that a message I can provide uh, uh, you know, from the vaccinations, um, that they do protect you from, from uh, hospitalization and death, uh, but it does not prevent contracting COVID. It just, I think, lessens those effects. So we are still vulnerable uh, as the population is to obviously experiencing COVID contract, contract, uh, mm -hmm. contracting. And so at the end of the day, it's a fluid situation that could spread and has spread to some degree. We have three positives um, and we have three uh, pending uh, that, you know, we've had rapid tests on and uh, until the lab based tests come back, the the rapid tests have come back positive and so uh, on multiple occasions now and so therefore uh, we'll wait now for the lab tests to come back which i'm assuming is going to be positive as well so that would increase our number to six but we're not at six yet we're we're at three confirmed so brian is, is that relegated to all players is that combining players and staff uh, it's all currently within the player population so uh, uh the, the confirmed and i can share with you obviously loisaga um uh, Nestor Cortez and uh, and Wandy Peralta or all have been positive now for COVID and confirmed. And then we have three pending situations uh, that on on a rapid test on multiple repeated versions are positive and uh, we're waiting for lab based tests to, to give us a, a con final official confirmed. So um, so we could be as high as six from the player population pool right now. But we're you know, um, we're taking every step necessary to try to to walk through this. And Cortez had been your scheduled starter for tonight. Had you guys planned to start him? No, he was not scheduled to start tonight. No. Thanks, Bill. We go to Brendan Cuddy. Josh, is it too soon to say anything about Shimar now, too? Or are you concerned about what he's like now? Well, as you know, the, the, the decision to play or not play rests in, the, in, in these circumstances with the commissioner's office. So that decision was made with a lot of obviously careful thought uh, with safety and health involved uh, for all parties, both teams, as well as obviously anybody else, uh, you know, that could be within the vicinity here. So um, tomorrow's game decision, that would be something that, uh, again, would be directed by Major League Baseball and the commissioner himself. And also, could you take us through the timeline of this? With this coming out of an all-star break, everyone gets here today, gets tested, and then you guys uh, find out you have something in your hands? Yes. Uh, so obviously, Luizaga, uh, at started. it started obviously with Luizaga, which you saw did not pitch in the final uh, few games of the Houston series because of uh, his positive test. And then now, since that time, we've rolled into uh, entering the break uh, uh, with now more confirmed positives today. And um, and we're reacting to it clearly. Lindsay Adler, please unmute. Brian, how many of the three positive and three potential positives have been vaccinated? Uh, most are vaccinated. So the question was, uh, how many are vaccinated? I'd say most of the player population pool have been vac vaccinated that are uh, potentially positive for COVID. Not all, but most. Andy Martino, please unmute. Uh, Brian, do you know if a particular variant is detected in the positive cases? I do not know. And, and uh, to turn the clock back a little bit, so on Lindsay's question, so out of the, the known positives that I've announced uh, between Peralta and um, Loisaga and Nestor Cortez, um two you know were the the i think if i were if i'm accurate i think two were from j and j and one was from a double shot um from i believe it was pfizer so 
uh, Pfizer or Moderna, one of the two, I'm sorry. So, uh, so we have experienced, uh, obviously, breakthroughs on various of the vaccinations, which, again, is certainly possible. And it's, that's not something that uh, hasn't happened and it won't be happening in the future either. It just, uh, uh, but thankfully, I can report that those players are doing well uh, thus far uh, and doing what they need to be doing in quarantining, regardless uh, of uh, being diagnosed post-vaccination. Um, the other three uh, are now obviously in a quarantine situation pending um, the ultimate outcome of the, the final lab results, uh, and we'll see where that takes us. Greg Joyce, please unmute. Ryan, the, the three that are pending, are any of those guys experiencing symptoms? Uh, I, I, I'll say right now, you know, I'm going to stay silent on the, the, the three until those things work out and get uh, final official confirmation, and then we'll have more information. Okay. Thanks. Sweeney Murdy, go ahead. Hey, Brian, uh, when you say most but not all are vaccinated, does the outcome of this having to postpone the game, would that be different if all of your players were vaccinated? Would that have made a difference? The, the decision to postpone the game came from uh, uh, the commissioner of baseball. So I wouldn't be in a position to answer uh, ultimately, you know, what I know that ultimately the decision is for protection and health uh, of all employees. Um, and uh, but I don't want to speak for the commissioner what led to the final official decision for him to to cancel the, the competition tonight between Boston and New York. And uh, but he took all aspects involved. And until I, I'm sure from his perspective in his chair until this very fluid situation kind of declares itself. And uh, we all really know what we're dealing with. I think, uh, you know, better safe than sorry. And that's probably what went into his decision-making process. But I cannot speak for him. And, and I am not speaking for him by sharing those thoughts. And do you know about what, at what point in time that they're going to decide about tomorrow's game? I do not know. Um, obviously, the announcement just came shortly, uh, a short period of time ago about tonight's game. And uh, we're waiting for further information for, on pending tests on our end. Uh, to give us more information, which I'm sure will go into the decision-making process for, for Commissioner Madford as uh, he looks towards tomorrow. Marley Rivera, go ahead. Um, hi, Cash. When you had the, the outbreak that happened among your coaching and support staff back in Tampa, you were really open about saying that the vaccination, you wanted to go against vaccine hesitancy and say that vaccination was working because as a lot of your staff did not get sick. Is that what's happening here? Let's hope. I mean, I uh, so far, I think that uh, I can represent that uh, in most cases, it's just, I think almost in all cases, it's been a surprise now with people getting higher numbers now of coming back. It's not surprising that we, you know, we're dealing with a problem and now it's not surprising that other people are now coming back positives too, despite the vaccinations. Uh, in most cases. And so, um, but yes, thankfully, I can report, you know, that uh, as of right now, everybody's okay. And, um, and that would speak again to the belief that those vaccinations are working and, and ultimately there to protect us uh, from severe illness and, uh, and or death. And, and so in that case, you know, I want to represent that that's what's been happening. And, uh, and people should strongly consider that vaccination and not strongly consider that they should have the vaccinations, um, but it doesn't prevent us from having conversations like this, uh, what they consider breakthroughs, but the breakthroughs, obviously, uh, uh, the symptoms in theory would be limited, um, but it doesn't mean that you can't expose others because you're, uh, you know, carrying the virus uh, despite being vaccinated. So that's, it's about protecting others, and that's why I'm sure the decisions are getting made to take people, uh, quarantine them, uh, and uh, limit the competition for the short term. Go next to Dan Martin. Brian, given that you know, you had eight or nine, I think, uh, cases in May, and this could be as high as six, have you gotten any answers as to why there have been, understanding that there are breakthrough cases, it seems like there's been a lot both in May and now, and has that caused you to revisit any, any of your protocols or anything that you guys have done uh, this season just in terms of safety? Uh, you know, I think, uh, I think we certainly will reevaluate everything we 
you know, uh, have done and if there's anything we can be better at as we move forward, you know, those are fair questions to ask. I don't, I don't have an answer for that right now. I know that, you know, we rely on a lot of guidance from medical experts and try to implement to the best of our abilities. And um, as you know, we have a population of, of personnel that uh, most are vaccinated. Some have chosen not to get vaccinated. Um, they have their reasons for that. Um, and, you know, we're certainly trying to create Major League Baseball is, as, as well as the New York Yankees, a safe environment to come work and travel in, um, you know, and uh, and we'll constantly be, you know, reevaluating that, you know, whenever necessary, you know, for the benefit of our personnel. And uh, so it's a fair question. I don't have an answer to that right now, but we'll certainly walk through that with all, with people smarter than me uh, on this call. Christy Ackert, please unmute. Um, he, he did not come back with us now. So, uh, so obviously given his circumstance, uh, he was removed from the player population pool and, and, um, so he did not travel with us. Was there any protocol for players over the all-star break or was it just, they came back, you know, they went home and then they just came back and got tested and were positive after here? Uh, yeah, there's uh, the players have you know there's a negotiated uh, system with Major League Baseball and the Players Association about what you can and can't do. So we've offered tests for all players, um, and we continue to do so. And and most of the population uh, going into today, we're willing to take those tests, and uh, we're dealing with the results from those. Thank you, Brian Hoke. You have the next question. Hey, Cash. Were any of the three pendings you're waiting on were they? I would not until I, until those resolve. I'm not going to say uh, uh, who they are or are not. And so let's just let the play. Uh, once I have a confirmation of what uh, we're dealing with, and then permission from the players if they so provide, then I'll be able to speak to it a lot better. 